Hi. Hi, Court. Uh, I'm Ann I'm Ann Skipsey, and I have a lifetime connection with Qualicum Beach. My family moved here when I was just six months old, and there were uh, less than 900 people living here at that time. Um, now we have well over 9,000, so you can imagine the town has really changed and evolved over that time. Um, what I think hasn't changed is the charm of our community and also just the spirit of community and that's part of what brought me back to Qualicum Beach. I was working in Vancouver or in Burnaby, sorry, with the city of Burnaby for 15 years. Um, sat at the council table as their deputy city clerk, learning about the workings of local government. But it was really the sense of community and belonging that I wanted our son to be able to experience as well. So we moved back to Qualicum Beach when he was starting kindergarten. Um, and that's over a decade ago now. So I have a, a teenager <laughs> in, our, in our family. And also my father who, um, he was uh, getting older and living in our family home and so we wanted to help support him. He's now 95 and as some of you may know or may not know, he was the mayor of Qualicum Beach from 1977 to 1990. Um, so I grew up in Qualicum Beach. I went to the same elementary school as my son started out in at QBES. I, went, I graduated from KSS. I then went off to uh, the city to finish my education. I have a degree in business administration from Simon Fraser University. I then spent some time working in marketing in the natural foods industry. That's something people might not know about me before I, I started my career in local government. Um, I thought I would mention maybe part of the reason why I chose to be here at St. Andrew's Lodge and um, or in behind it at the waterfront park and one of the reasons was because of Miss Little herself and how she was all about Qualicum Beach and uh, she was to the point where she would not shop anywhere else but Qualicum Beach and that's something that um, I feel strongly about. I always shop locally first and um, she was an ambassador for Qualicum Beach and that's something that I feel is really important is to um, have that passion and caring for your community. The other thing is that she was actually our very first freeman of the municipality and that is the highest honor that any, um, any municipality can bestow on one of their uh, citizens. So um, yeah, for me, Miss Little was really all about Qualicum Beach. And the second thing that um, some people might not know is this week at Council, we were gifted a name for this park from our Qualicum First Nation. And uh, I did ask the mayor in the meeting, how do you pronounce that name? And I'm going to probably butcher it. So I think we're all going to get a little bit of coaching on how you actually say this name. Uh, it's, it looks like Sat Lam. And so that will be uh, the name when we're referring to this park. And then the third reason, of course, is just the beauty here and um, actually it's being very well used. We have Tai Chi, we have people meeting, dog walking. It's a, a wonderful space for community. So my vision for Qualicum Beach is to make sure that we retain that sense of community, the charm and the character. Um, of course there's going to be changes. As I say, I've seen lots of changes over the time. Um, and but. We want to do them in alignment with the vision. The citizen developed official community plan lays out the vision for our community and what it's going to look like, the Qualicum Beach that we're going to pass on to the next generations. So I, uh, I'm Ann Skipsey and that's a little bit about me and I'm asking for your vote on October 15th. Thank you.